Hello, in this Ionic programming video, we're going to look at the button CSS component. Pretty self explanatory, there's some CSS classes that allow you to do some really cool styling for buttons. So let's just get down to it. So, uh, what I've done here is already put in a comment the different button classes that you can use. I'm going to show you how to use them, but we probably won't be doing all of them. And as a result, we want you to actually do it yourself, experiment, because that's always the best way of learning. So first, let's create a simple button. To do that, let's do button. And this is going to have a class of button. And then inside here, it's going to have the text button. Save that. Now let's just build our project. Okie dokie. So, what I'm doing is just running it in an iOS simulator. You can open it up as a web page, you can run it on Android, however you feel. Okay, as you see, we've got a button right there. It's not a very basic button, so it's, there's not much to it. So, let's actually create another button. So let's just copy and paste that. And for this one, we're going to add one of the button classes. So you have the regular button class, and then you have one of the additional styling classes. So I'm going to put, I fancy doing button dash positive. So I'm feeling very positive today. Oopsie daisy, almost forgot to build the project. And let's run it again, and let's see our button with a class. There you go, we now have our button right there. What I'm going to do is actually a second one like so. Rerun this. Okie dokie, so let's go back to Xcode, run this again. There you go, we got our button right there. What you can also do is add a class called button dash block. You know what? I'm going to copy and paste this so you can see the difference between this other button because there's a variety of different classes that you can use to store your button. So if you have these existing classes, you can also have a class called button dash block which makes your button 100% of its parent's width. So let's save that. And I'm just going to put in here, percent, save that, run it, and then build the project. Rerun it in the simulator. There you go, we have our 100% button. So the next thing we're going to show you is what if you want to do a full width block button so it ignores any padding. You can do that simply by putting, let's change this to full, and instead of block, you need to just put button dash full. Ooh, not that, definitely not that. Save that. Build the project. We run our application. And there you go. There is a slight difference because it has no curvature. And obviously, if let's say this particular one right here was in other elements which had their own padding, it would look a lot different. So I would actually recommend doing that, putting this in its own element, putting this in its own element, which has the padding, and just see the difference. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the different sizing of buttons. So for that, we're going to actually just copy and paste this button right here.
actually, I'm just going to get this one. Paste it twice. I'm going to call this small. I'm going to call this large. So I'm pretty sure you can guess the class required. Button dash small. Button dash large. Save that build our project and if you don't have the classes the button is essentially medium size so let's just rerun our project there you go we got a small button and a large button if we compare this to this button right here which doesn't have the sizing class you can see that this would go right in between these two in terms of size the next class we're going to look at is outline buttons which allow us to have a hollow button with just a simple outline so what I'm going to do is copy and paste this we don't need the button dash large we need button dash outline I'm also going to change button dash positive just to vary it up a little bit so I'm going to use royal paste that right here and I'm going to call this Outlined, save this, build our project. And now let's just run our project. Okie dokie, as you can see, we have the outline button as well. So we just now hopefully we will have the outline. And also, if I go back to the simulator, as you can see, the text color is the same as the outline instead of it being white like the other buttons. So the next button we're going to look at is a clear button which has no border and has no background whatsoever. So let's just copy and paste this button and change button dash outline to button dash clear. Clear and inside here, I'm going to change the styling again just to vary it up a little bit. We run this project, I mean, rebuild it. I keep saying rerun. Now we're going to rerun the project in our simulator. As you can see, we have our button and we can click on it. Accordingly, so the next top button we're going to look at is an icon button which has text and an icon. And with this, you can essentially use any of simply put, you can mix and match these as you would logically. So, if let's say you wanted to do a let's see, an outline button and you wanted it to be small, you could just put the button that small class as well. Same with the clear, and that's the same with the icon button so you can mix it and match it with an outline button a clear button a small button etc etc so what we're going to do is copy and paste what we're going to do is just copy and paste this one right here and what we're going to do is just correct get rid of button dash clear change the styling to calm I think I am going to go through all the different classes at this rate. So I'm just going to put the home button. So I'm just going to put I on dash left. And this is just going to arrange the icon to the left. If you want it to the right, you simply change left to right. Very simple. And I'm going to put I on dash home. So this is the home icon. If you want to know about more of the icons in Ionic, if you just Google Ionic icons, you'll get a bunch of different classes and previews of what you can use in something like this. In here, I'm just going to put home icon. Ah, actually, I'm going to put it, call it icon. Let's save this. Build our project again. Run project again in our simulator 
and as you can see we have a button with an icon in it which is really cool because it just helps the user experience become a lot better the next button we're going to look at is buttons within headers so we're going to quickly just create a header we've already covered headers in a previous video so check that out for more information so class bar bar dash header and here we're going to put a button that has a class of button and we are going to put an icon so this is going to be an icon as well you don't need to put the position for this one because that's basically going to be the text in here I'm going to put I on what icon should I have I fancy putting the settings icon because that's usually quite common in headers so let's close that off and now just do a h1 tag in here have a class of title Title, and I'm going to put header and finally I'm going to add another button so you can see how to use it if I just put a class of is of button again and inside I'm going to put home and one will be oriented to the left and one will be oriented, oriented to the right I'm pretty sure you can guess which one is which so let's save this build our project and now we run it in our simulator so there we go we have a header and we have the buttons themselves which is really really cool as you can probably hopefully notice there's some sort of like border around it you can easily make them clear by well simply just putting let me show you what we need to do we need to put a clear button so if you go to bar dash header instead of icon you put button dash icon and put button dash clear very simple i'll actually leave that as an extra task for you guys and the final thing we're going to show you for buttons is button bars which is essentially multiple buttons grouped together so i'm going to put div class of button dash bar and in here I'm going to put I'm just going to put an anchor tag vary it up a bit anchor class button and I'm going to put first so let's just copy these and paste them a few times change that to second change that to fourth and change this to third and I'm actually going to put some styling as well so I'm going to put button dash which one should we use the last one let's use energize because we are quite energized now we know a lot about button let's paste this right here save it run we need to build our application we run it in our simulator there we go we have a button that is well it's all just collapsed at the moment <laughs> that was a little awkward so there you go we have a really cool cool button that well i mean a set of buttons and it is that simple to create this really cool but i'm uh, mixing my words here it is that simple to use button classes in ionic and css components if you have any questions feel free to actually uh just messed up one thing if i go back to so if I show you, there's no styling applied, and that just it's not meant to be a button. It's a like it's a bar. It's meant to be bar dash 